Okay, friend, you need to stop listening to everybody else's opinions and start listening to your own. You need to start dialing in on the relationship that you're building with yourself. You're just getting lost in all the noise. It's making you unhappy. It's making you feel lost. It's making you anxious. It's making you depressed. And nobody knows what that feels like more than me. Nobody knows you better than you. Nobody knows me better than me. And we belittle ourselves. We discredit ourselves every single day, listening to all the noise coming in versus tuning in with ourselves. Why are you letting what everybody else has to say about you or your life, how you live it? Why are you letting that dictate your life or where you're headed, where you're going? That can become really dangerous. And it's this lack of trust that a lot of us have in ourselves. This lack of self-confidence, insecurity, need for validation that brings us down this path. Nobody knows you like you. And not even nobody knows you, nobody really cares. When people are sharing their opinions or they give input or advice, it's coming from their own lens. They're thinking about themselves, they're thinking about their life, what they would do, what they would say, how they would act. It's not really about you. It can't really be about you when no one knows you like you. And so often we abandon ourselves to be liked, validated, approved. I used to be the girl who used to go to everybody else. This person, that person, that person, this person. Looking for advice, opinions, validation. Am I doing the right thing? What do you think about this? What should I do? Or what would that person think of me? What would that person say? I would create stories in my head as well. It dictated everything that I did and it brought me down a rabbit hole of feeling incredibly lost. I wasn't standing on my own two feet. I wasn't grounded. I didn't even know what my own values were. I didn't even know what I stood for. I let everybody else tell me. So I didn't trust myself. And it's like, I needed the noise. You know, we tend to think that we need a lot of things that are actually toxic for us. I felt like I needed the noise as kind of like this blanket. It was this toxic blanket. So whether it was good for me or not, I needed to believe that I was being protected by all the opinions and the input and the advice. The truth is I wasn't being protected. And I learned that the hard way because you're just like a feather in the wind floating whichever way not standing on your own two feet, being able to make your own decisions, not being able to trust yourself. And so what happened was I lost myself. I lost my way and that was on me. I lost my way trying to find myself and everyone else around me. But here's the thing, nobody knows your journey like you do. Nobody knows your heart, your struggles, your dreams. So why are we letting other people who don't even have all the facts steer the ship? Our minds are like radios all day long. They're picking up signals from everywhere. Social media, family, friends, random strangers. And if you're not careful, all of those signals can drown out your own station. The one that's broadcasting what you really think and feel. And this is also related to this whole people pleasing thing, recovering people pleaser here. When we're not sure of ourselves, when we don't treat ourselves well, when we don't like ourselves, we don't trust ourselves, we then reach for that love and validation outside of ourselves. And then what happens is we feel like we need to appease other people. We need to agree with or take in the input of everybody else around us in order to get them to like us. Do you see how dangerous that is? What you should want is for the people who like you to really see you and to like you for who you really are. But I think a lot of people pleasers are scared to turn over that leaf, that new leaf into self-empowerment, self-trust, agency over ourselves for fear of losing support or losing that likability factor, not realizing that that is the very thing that is causing you to lose yourself, to lose trust in yourself, not realizing that that's the thing that's causing you not to like yourself more and more. If you keep letting others' opinions in, you start doubting your every move. You become this version of yourself that's molded by what others think, and that's not who you really are. So what do you do? It's about reshaping the way you see yourself the more you know, respect, and understand yourself, the easier it becomes to trust your own instincts. And when you trust yourself, you don't need to lean on others' opinions so much. Okay, so let's get practical. How do we start fostering this relationship with ourselves? And how do we stop listening to everybody else? First, you need to find a true connection with yourself. We are on autopilot every single day, going at 180 miles per hour. When is the last time you actually stopped to tune in with yourself, 
we don't think this is a priority for some crazy reason. We're putting our family first, we're putting work first, we're putting our partners first, our friends, we're putting them first before us. And therefore you're emanating this energy that shows that you're coming from a place of lack. We don't think we're a priority and that needs to change. So how I connect with myself now, I stream of consciousness to everything. So I'll talk to myself, I will journal. Every day this just gets me to a place of checking in with myself, making sure that I don't unknow myself. It's a scary thing when people don't even know themselves. I meditate, I do hot yoga every morning. And to those who say, I just don't have the time, you have no idea what's on my plate, you don't know what I'm going through. If you don't prioritize yourself, the rest of the world, everybody around you has no problem stealing that time from you. And then you fall into this pattern of losing yourself over and over and over again. Secondly, you gotta establish your core beliefs. For the longest time, like I said, I didn't even know what I stood for. I didn't know what my core values were. I didn't know my beliefs. It took me falling down a rabbit hole, self-sabotaging, making some big mistakes to realize, wow, I need some core values. So what do you believe in? What do you stand for? You need to get clear on this because your core values are your foundation. They are what ground you for when everybody else's opinions start to make you feel shaky. When you know what you stand for, it's easier to recognize when somebody else's opinion, when somebody else's energy doesn't align with yours. So for me, a few of my core beliefs, continuous growth, kindness, compassion, respect. And if I don't recognize these things in somebody else, if I don't see that someone is wanting to grow, then why would I focus so much on what they have to say or what they think of me? You can begin to put very little stock in the people who don't align with your values. Number three, we've heard this. This is nothing new. Trust your gut. And you know, for the people who say, oh, I, I don't know what my gut tells me. I don't know how to trust my gut. Go back to number one. You're obviously not connected with yourself. Slow down, find some self-connection, get grounded, get centered, and then trust your gut. It's hard to trust your gut when you're running at 100 miles per hour and you haven't stopped to even check in with yourself. You've gotta trust your instincts. That gut feeling you get, it's there for a reason. What are the whispers telling me? What are my instincts telling me? I ignored the whispers for so long in my life. I can't tell you how many times in the past my gut told me not to do something or that something didn't feel completely right and I went ahead and did it anyway. I would say to myself, mm, this doesn't feel quite right with me and it ended up costing me. And this can be any and all decisions. Decisions that you make on a day-to-day -day basis, decisions in relationships, decisions at the workplace, all decisions. Check in with yourself, trust your gut. And I found that going against what my gut was telling me, what my true nature was telling me, it was the quickest way to lose trust with myself. And in order to develop a really strong relationship with yourself, you've gotta earn your own trust first. And that's listening to your gut. That's sticking to your commitments, doing what you say you're gonna do, doing the right thing, doing what you know is the right thing. And here's the thing, the more you rely on others to tell you what's right, the less you learn to trust yourself. Start practicing self-validation. Trust that you know what's best for you and do it on purpose. The next thing you've gotta do is set boundaries. Again, nothing we haven't heard before. Boundaries are about protecting your peace. And that is something that nobody else should have control over. Honestly, for a long time, I felt like in order to people please and to be loved, I wasn't allowed to set boundaries. So it's okay to tell someone, hey, I appreciate your input. And then go into your own space, dial in with yourself and make the decision that's best for you. And if they don't respect that, that's on them not you. Another way to tune into yourself is to really pay attention to how others make you feel. If someone's words or someone's energy leaves you feeling a little uneasy or unsure, pay attention to that. And on the other hand, if you feel a sense of kind of calm or clarity, that's your inner voice agreeing with what's being said. So you gotta learn to trust your voice. Okay, and lastly, find your people. Your circle matters. Surround yourself with those who really see you, who genuinely care about you, who have your best interests at heart, not their own when it comes to you and their relationship with you. They have your best interests at heart. These are the people whose opinions you can tend to trust more and they respect your decisions. So let me wrap up with this thought. There is one voice you need to cultivate, one relationship that you need to foster, 
one person who matters most in your life and that is you. And who is really going to ride or die for you at the end of the day? Maybe a couple people in your life, but you need to be your strongest ride or die. Why are we spending all of this energy worrying about others? You are the one who has to live with how you feel. You are the one who has to live with the decisions that you make. So make sure that those thoughts and decisions come from your core, not somebody else's. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, come back next week for more. This is the starting over series. If you are in a transition period in your life, starting something new, starting over, this is the place for you. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.